Kate Garraway looked unrecognizable in a throwback montage of her career highlights shown on GMB after her Trick Awards 2021 win on Wednesday night. The presenter, 54, showed off her 90s style blow dry and looked fresh faced in one short part of the clip as she anchored Central News South where she worked in 1996 age 29. Kate was honored with a special award at the star-studded event which was also attended by her fellow GMB presenters Susanna Reed, Ben Shepard and ex-presenter Piers Morgan. In the clip from Central News South viewers did a double take as she said, Good afternoon the lunchtime news for Central. Her voice appeared to sound much deeper than normal and had a posh edge to it while she dressed in a classic 90s outfit with a pastel suit, chunky gold earring and big hair. There were clips from her time on GMTV, Daybreak and Smooth Radio as well as reporting trips overseas where she told the stories of humanitarian issues and even rode a camel in one part of the video. In another segment she interviewed Bridget Jones star Renee Zellweger as they both sat on her bed. Speaking to her co-hosts Ben and Susanna on Thursday morning she said, All of you are sneaky liars. You knew but you didn't tell me and it was right at the end of the afternoon when it completely unraveled. My false eyelashes were coming off. I was quite good on the drink but it just generally unraveled. Holding up the award, she continued, This is very lovely, thank you very much. A special recognition award. Just for surviving so long, it felt like a retirement award. Kate looked stunning at the event in a white cohort as she caught up with her colleagues and larked about on the red carpet. Kate was recognized with a special award after continuing her tireless TV and radio work while her husband Derek Draper battles COVID-19. It comes just days after the star won Best Author Documentary at the National Television Awards, while offered viewers a harrowing glimpse of Derek's battle with the virus. Kate, who has children Darcy, 15, and William, 12, with Derek, 54 has since revealed that she hopes to make a follow-up to the show. She told The Sun, We are going to make another documentary, there are plans for more. Derek has a very short window of energy, but we are trying. He has been home for four months now and it was enough for him being home. Now we are really hoping we can have more and more people in to see him. Speaking while accepting her award at the NTAs Kate said, Thank you so much. It was a hugely brave decision of ITV I think to commission this. They didn't really know what they were making. They didn't know if it was a story about bereavement or about triumph. Lucy, Wilcox the director and cinematographer, arrived in our home not knowing if she was seeing a family in grief or relief, and in the end, it was something between the two. Thank you so much for voting. I wonder if the reason you did this is because our story is your story. I think we've all been touched by the pandemic, whether it's livelihoods or mental health. All the other extraordinary documentaries that have been highlighted this evening have also been affected by the pandemic. I just want to say to all the Darcy's and Villies and Derek's and Derek's family that whatever you're going through and however you're affected, you're not forgotten. We want the joy back, we want it to be over but if you're still living with the scars the fight goes on. But most important of all, Derek, you should be here and he should have had the chance to tell his own story. Derek you're going to get the chance, I believe, the hope is real. Thank you so much. The likes of Holly Willoughby and Anton Deck were seen watching on tearfully, 
with Katie Price seen standing and forming a heart shape in Kate's direction in support, decide missing out on the win herself. Her son Harvey stood with her and clapped enthusiastically. She told press in the winner's room after the show, congratulations to the team who made it together. It's theirs really. I wasn't sure if I was going to come tonight. I'm extraordinarily proud of it but it felt like a strange time to leave the family, but even on the way in here, a woman called Angela and her son Jack said I lost my husband and the documentary helped. The reaction was extraordinary.